Hello and uh, welcome to this next video on uh, mobile repairing. In the area of electronics and mobile repairing, the one of the commonly used tools is a soldering iron. So in this video, we will try and understand what is a soldering iron and how do we use this tool to solder components onto PCBs. Now in front of you, you have a set of tools and equipments here. We will try and understand each of these tools and equipments in this video and we will also learn how to use the soldering iron to solder components into the mobile phone PCBs. Now many a times mobile phone PCBs have a lot of components that are placed in it. In order to solder them we use the micro soldering iron which has a very small tip that can be used to solder components onto a PCB. Now, as you can see in a mobile PCB, there are a lot of small components, minute components that are placed. These minute components need to be placed in these positions using a soldering iron. Many a times, you may also need to use something called as a jumper wire to connect two disconnected points or to repair faults like network fault or SIM card fault, etc. So in this video, we will understand how to do soldering and we will also learn how to connect the soldering wire, the jumper wire. Or whenever we need to remove carbon, you can also place a little bit of paste on it to try and ensure that you are able to remove the carbon on the jumper wire and therefore can solder it very well onto the mobile PCB. This is the soldering wire. The soldering wire is a very important tool uh, component that is required for soldering. Whenever you need to solder something, you take the soldering iron, a hot soldering iron and you place it on the soldering wire. It melts the soldering wire and that melted soldering wire is what is placed at the point where you want to solder anything. So when you need to solder the jumper wire, the paste that you have, the solder, the lead that you have melted can be placed on the respective point and uh, as soon as we place it, this dries up holding on to the wire or any component that you are trying to place. You can also use the soldering wire to remove any soldering because it melts whatever soldering is already there. Once you have melted it, you place it again along with the jumper wire. So you can place the tip lightly at whichever point you want to do your soldering and that will ensure that you are able to solder any component or jumper wire effectively. Going forward, let us see how we can place a jumper wire between connect two connecting points and how do we ensure that we prepare the jumper wire before we place it in the respective connecting point. When we need to do jumper setting, we use this jumper wire. So we take a little bit of the paste and put it on one end of the jumper wire. Uh, we will also be using the uh, forceps or tweezers as we call it. Apart from that, there is also a cutter that we use that is used to cut the jumper wire as per requirement. Now, soldering is a very important component in mobile repairing. Usually to correct network faults, SIM card faults, where circuit is broken, we will need to use a jumper wire to connect these points and during that time soldering is definitely required. Apart from that, we will also be requiring soldering when we need to place some components directly onto the PCB. For example, the ringer or the buzzer or even the mic can be placed in the PCB using a soldering iron. The soldering is used to place these components onto the PCB directly. So these are the two main uses of soldering in the mobile PCB. Let us understand jumper wire a little more. Jumper wire is basically a wire which is either made of copper or aluminium and is usually insulated. So whenever we need to use the jumper wire, we need to remove the insulation on both the ends of the jumper wire and we can use, do this by placing the jumper wire on a hard stone surface and wiping one end of the wire using the soldering iron. So the tip of the iron will take off the insulation on top 
and that will ensure that this wire is placed properly in its right position and can be soldered appropriately. Now, the jumper wire is going to be used here to connect two different points where the connectivity is broken. Let us say we need to connect these two points uh, and the connectivity between these two points is broken internally, then we need to place an external jumper wire to connect these two points. So once the insulation is removed from the jumper wire, the wire is now ready to be placed on the mobile PCB. Once we remove the insulation, we will take a little bit of the soldering wire uh, through the soldering iron. So, it is melted and it is now placed at the tip of the soldering iron. Place the jumper wire there and then as you can see very lightly touch it and you can see that the soldering is complete from one end of the jumper wire. Now, leave it there and ensure that it dries up a little so that it holds tightly onto this position. Now, from this point you need to connect it let us say to a different point on the lower end of the device. You need to measure the right length of the soldering wire and then cut the wire according to the respective size that is required. Now, please note that we are only doing this on a trial basis just to show you how soldering and how connecting a jumper wire needs to be done. So, once we measure the length of the wire, we cut it out using the cutter. Also, always ensure that you have a little extra length available to you so that you can place the jumper wire easily in the respective position. Now, similar to the first end, you will also have to remove the insulation from the other end as well. Once the insulation is removed from the other end, take the soldering wire and place it in the respective position. Again, hold it lightly over the position where it needs to be soldered. Take a little bit of soldering lead and place the soldering iron on this particular position. As you can see, you can lightly press it there and the soldering lead is now placed in that position and you can very clearly see how the soldering is complete. So, the lead usually dries up immediately and therefore forms a very strong bond between the jumper wire and the PCB. Let us try and understand what are some of the safety components that we need to keep in mind while we are soldering. Now, always remember to hold the micro iron with the handle. And whenever you are using the micro iron, please switch on the micro iron first from the main power plug and hold on for a few minutes until the micro iron tip is hot. Once the micro iron tip is hot, you will be able to work on it very easily. Whenever you are not using the micro iron, please place it in its respective stand. This will ensure that you do not get hurt by the heat that is generated by the micro iron. The second thing is, usually when you use this micro iron soldering iron, the tip will have some carbon elements in it. To remove those carbon elements, you can scratch the tip on a hard stone surface, which will remove any of those carbon components which are stuck at the tip. This will give a, a little more clarity to the tip and you can use the tip effectively to solder anything on the mobile PCB. These two are very critical when you are working on soldering iron. The next thing that you must understand while working on any of the soldering aspects is, while using the jumper wire, you need to be clear on where you need to place the jumper wire. Unless you are aware of where the jumper wire needs to be placed, do not try and connect points onto the mobile PCB. Many a times it is primarily for network fault, SIM fault any of those internal connectivity related faults where a circuit is broken is where you need to use a jumper wire. So, please ensure that you look at the respective uh, circuit diagram of the mobile phone before you try attempting to place any jumper wire on the printed circuit board. When we are using the cutter, please ensure that you cut it to the right distance and while you are using the tweezers, be very careful. Tweezers can be used to move any of the components where your bare hands cannot do the job. It can even also be used to scratch a little bit of dirt or dust that exist uh, that are uh, seen on the 
tips so that the soldering works very well. Thank you very much.